and I was uh, wondering how is it that I that I got to this particular place where, where I, I don't feel that I love God anymore I don't I mean I pray eventually I praise him but uh, I read the Bible okay but I don't feel the need to go to church that would be like entering in a place where he owns that property it's his it's his house his home well his home is supposed to be heaven but uh, I believe he's he's in every single church like he's in like he's everywhere okay he created the universe with his word and he was the word in the beginning not only Genesis but uh, the Gospel of uh, John the thing is that we have grown apart and there is a reason there are plenty of reasons but the, 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 the reason the most conspicuous reasons reason is that I, I do not understand his origin how was he created was he before the universe was he uh, an atom that eventually went off and the big bang occurred was he prior to the big bang What was it? There was nothing. And then when he showed up, there was everything. How is it? Okay, let's suppose that he appeared out of nothing. Okay, let's agree on that one. But then he created his angels. And there was one angel that was beautiful, smart, extremely intelligent very creative but eventually he wanted to take his place Lucifer and then evil showed up in the world so now we're dealing with goodness and evil why did God allow evil to appear because all the suffering comes from Satan Lucifer And I'm doing my best to reconcile with God, okay? Not that I'm ignoring Him, not that He's indif indifferent to me. No, 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 no. He's always on my mind, okay? I'm always thinking about Him. I mean, not 24-7, but at least 18 hours a day, 17, 18 hours a day. I'm always praying. I, I, I believe, let, 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 let's make this very clear, okay? I believe that Jesus is the Son of God and when I claim that Jesus is the Son of God I'm claiming that the Judeo-Christian God is the only God not Buddha not Allah okay yes the Jewish the Jewish God is our God yes but he's got a son and there is a, a third entity which is the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's written in the Bible. I do not have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. I, it's like a legacy for us. I do not understand it. I, I do not pray. I do not talk to the Holy Spirit. I just talk to Jesus, eventually to his dad, God. But there is a Holy Trinity, okay? I believe in the Holy Trinity. But we're not friends anymore. I don't I don't feel that Yeah, I do believe that God loves me. That he loves me, okay? I, I do believe that he does love me. But he loves me. He loves me his way. So he allows the suffering in my life. My wife is dying, okay? Uh, she's got diabetes type 2, her left leg has already been amputated. 
it's been almost it's gonna be three years this December 2024 I broke my collarbone my clavicle playing soccer I'm 58 I was 56 at that time January 2022 few things happen that I, I do not understand. I, I, I don't even want to mention some incidents in our family. There has been one after another. And you wonder where is God? You ask yourself, where is God? Am I reflecting the Christian life when people see me walking down the street, going grocery shopping? Do they see God in me? They don't. They don't. They, they, they see hatred. They see I'm not an evil person. And I believe there is evil, okay? I believe uh, Satan, Lucifer, he wants the world for you. I believe he wants to take your life. He wants to take you out, okay? I believe that Jesus always mentioned about the demons. He exercised quite a few people. He resuscitated people, like five people, within the Gospels, the four Gospels. I mean, the four canonical Gospels. So we've got those Gnostic Gospels. Well, I don't believe in those, those ones. Because uh, uh, the reason I do not believe in the Gospel of Judah, Mary Magdalene, Thomas, is because when Jesus talks, when he talks in our Gospels, okay, he always claims, this is not my word, this is the word of my Father. He sent me. I didn't make this decision. All the glory is His. He is the one who gives me my glory. He's always honoring his dad. When you go to, when you read, go through the Gospels, the Gnostic Gospels, it's always about Thomas, it's always about Mary, it's always about Judas. Pride. Pride. Satan. He wanted to take God's place. He wanted to sit in his throne. That's the reason our four gospels are the real ones. But we, we're just we're, we're like parting ways. We we're not together anymore. As much as I do pray, I read my Bible. I've been <laughs> I read a lot, not only my Bible, everything, but I, I do read my Bible on a daily basis. But we're not friends anymore. We're not friends anymore. And everything that just recently happened in my family, it's just me and my wife. We don't have any kids, okay? Everybody's talking about God. No one. She's she's praising the Lord. As I said, I know he he does love me. Okay. Do I love him back? I don't think so. I don't. As much as I, I, I'm grateful that I woke up this morning, that my wife woke up this morning. When you take uh, diabetes medication, you should she's taking metformin. It it's a lot of a lot of diarrhea involved. Okay, she's been admitted to the hospital twice within the last 90 days. So you can imagine.
what's going to be next. And I got, I know that she's in God's hands, okay? She's in God's hands. But, but I still blame God for what happened. I wish it, I could get away from God's hands. I wish I, I didn't have to follow Him respect Him, obey Him. But if I don't follow Him, then I, I'm going to be alone in, in the darkness. And another, another thing, I don't want to go to heaven. I don't want to spend eternity in heaven. I don't want to sp spend my time with Him. When you don't want to be with someone, that means that you have to part ways, okay? The problem is that if I don't go with him to heaven, the, the other option is going to be hell. I don't want to go to hell. There are alligators, crocodiles in hell. I, I'm very scared of crocodiles. And I'm pretty sure he's going to get some for me, Satan. And I don't want that. I, 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 I don't like them, okay? They've got a huge, huge mouth. They can bite off your leg out of just one bite. No thanks. It's always a struggle. It's always, I have to believe in God. I have to wait on Him. He's going to make the decision. And when you pray, you don't know what, what His will is going to be. So whatever you read in the Bible, His promises, you don't know what to expect because He's the one who makes the decision. He's the one who says, well, it's about time for you to get healed, for you to uh, move forward. He's the one who makes all those decisions. So, so you might be praying and praying for this, for that, and nothing is gonna happen until he approve whatever is gonna happen to you. So we are always in His hands, always. Whatever you do, whatever you don't do, you cannot get away from Him. So I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. It's like, it's been enough, it's been enough. He claims to be good. Only my father is good. Luke uh, 18, the young rich, he asked him, how is it that I can obtain access to eternity and eternal life? Good God, why do you call me good? Only my dad is good, Jesus claimed. And then Jesus got angry quite a few times. He threw away everybody at the synagogue, at the temple, when they saw that they created sort of a flea market. He accused uh, Judas that somebody was gonna betray him at the Last Supper. He told Peter, you're gonna deny me three times three times and then quite a few more lines along the way so he was not he was not a saint okay he would curse the Pharisees the Sadducees he would so he was not Sometimes he was a piece of work, okay? He was not what people claim. And I've been with him once. He chose me. He wanted to show himself to me in a vision. We met each other. It was an office. He was 
on this side of the office and I was on the other side of the office. He was looking at me, he was very angry at me, he was sad, he was disappointed with me. He would, he would be looking at me like if I were a helpless person and he was pacing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with uh, his right leg, okay? He was wearing a, a rope, uh, he, he didn't have a, a sash, okay, no sash. He was very fit, that got my attention, he was very fit, okay. He was in shape. Uh, and another thing that got my attention, uh, and he was not 33, he, he, it's like he, he got older in heaven, he might be like 38, 39, okay. Another thing that got my attention is his Caucasian, Caucasian but not Aryan, not from Norway or Germany or the UK or Denmark or the Netherlands. No, he was like a, for, from Italy, from Florence, borderline with uh, Switzerland and Germany and France. He was from that region. He had a curly hair this size, not all the way to the shoulders, okay? It was curly, it was like brown. Uh, he didn't, sh I couldn't see his face, okay? But since he, he, he realized that I wanted to see his face, he took me to a different vision and showed me his nose and his lips. It was a, a, a very robust, solid nose, okay? Kind of a, a little bit chubby and his lips were uh, uh, very meaty, meaty lips, okay? He was like 6'6", six, 6'1", six, he was a little bit taller than me, but he was extremely disappointed with me, he was very sad, what do I do with you? And I thought he was gonna hit me. At one point, it got so the crescendo got so intense that I, I thought he was gonna hit me. So eventually, I said he's gonna hit me now. He's so disappointed with me that he's gonna hit me now. And both of his, his hands, he like reach out both of his hands, this hand and this one, and they grew they grew longer they grew up and they boom they hit my my forehead my forehead and the top side of my of my eyes so he he grabbed my my forehead my eyebrows and the top side of my eyes and not that I woke up but I opened my eyes because it, it was a vision yes I was asleep but I was not having a dream and it was a vision. Uh, there was a desk right next to him, to his uh, it was to his right side there was a desk, okay? I didn't see, there, there were some stuff on the desk. Uh, the walls were like blue color, sky blue color. I realized that there were people outside the office in the office and it was just me and Jesus. He had a two-piece rope, no belt, okay? He had sandals. Uh, I could see he, he, had, he was very fit. Uh, I didn't see the holes in his hands, nothing like that. Okay, he had no tattoos, no ears, earrings nothing no sash no nothing oh this is this is what got my attention the fabric of his rope was uh, very thick very thick and had some stripes uh, some horizontal stripes and they were the the, the, the rope was gray color and the, the horizontal stripes were color uh, yellow orange 
and that's what I saw and maybe just white but it was beautiful view but very thick so I got the impression that where he was coming from it was winter time so there is there are seasons in, in heaven you've got summer you've got winter autumn spring in heaven that was awesome that was awesome to me that was uh, amazing that he revealed the, the place where, where he was coming from he he claims that uh, that he's preparing mansions for us I don't want that I don't even want to spend time with him in eternity but if he, that's his decision there's nothing I can do about it I don't want to go to hell there's no purgatory I'm, I'm a Roman Catholic but I, we, be, we believe in purgatory but I do not because I read the Bible uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a Roman Catholic from Jewish descent uh, but uh, I don't understand the reason we were so distanced. It could be for the thing that happened in my life. It could be that, uh, that my wife is dying. But I, I didn't feel good with him prior to my wife's disease. I, I already felt pretty distant to him. I mean, 2018, 2017, 18, 19. My wife got pretty bad uh, in December 2021. It's, it's going to be three years this December. He didn't say a word. He didn't talk, okay? He didn't talk. Uh, he didn't mention my name. We didn't talk. He just touched me. His arms grew like like four, five, six feet, and then he touched me and I opened my eyes. He didn't give me a message. He didn't say, I love you. He didn't say, I'm gonna be with you. He didn't say, I'm gonna protect you. He didn't say, I'm gonna send some angels to take care of you, your wife, mostly your wife. Because at this point, when you love your wife, we've been 18 years together next October, we met back in October 20, uh, 20, 2006, so it's going to be 18 years next October. At this time, my life is all about my wife. I, all, all I care, it's, it, it's my wife. The wellness, it's a 24, it's, it's all about, it's it, on a daily basis. Whatever happens for this, the next 24 hours. If he wakes up, I'm grateful. I, I always uh, thank him for one more day. But I don't want to be with him. I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm tired of this relationship. I have a relationship with God, but it has become a nightmare. I, I, I'm not enjoying this relationship. It's always a struggle. It's always like climbing the mountain. El Capitan. Sometimes I see his blessings. Um, may no mistake, I do. I do. I want to... I open a, a can of uh, milk this morning and it was rotten. So I went back to on my bike to public supermarket. This is South Beach, Florida, by the way. And they they changed everything. They gave me the money. Well, they gave me a credit, uh, you know, a money car from the from the company. And I was grateful. I said, "This is this is you. It's you that are, who is giving me back uh, the milk that I paid for not two weeks ago, maybe. Not supposed to last for two or three years. Okay, it's evaporated milk. I don't know if you." You're aware of that milk. Most of you are not. Yeah, they're sold in America as well. Mostly for bakery. I drink it with my coffee, okay? I try to share the gospel with my wife. She's 
she, her background is Roman Catholic as well, but she's, she's not a Christian. I am. I'm a Judeo-Christian man. I do have a relationship with God, but it's horrible. I, I don't think he hates me. I, I do not think he hates me. I do not think that he doesn't like me. I don't know what his purpose is for my life. I do not know that as, as much as I have tried to preach his word. I cannot preach his word if I don't want to spend eternity with him. That's, that's ridiculous. That's a contradiction. And I don't want to live in a contradiction. But I, the problem is that every time that I want to part with, with him and say, hey, let me just shake your hand, uh, Jesus. We're not bodies. We're we're not meant for each other. We're, I'm sorry, but I, I have to take a different path. Every time that I try to do that, I fail. I come back to him. He saw something that I was very worried for the last three days. The sink of the bathroom uh, got clogged. Okay, seems like it had been getting worse for the last two or three years but I did it since it was not you know the water was not it was going through I didn't pay attention but three days ago it didn't go through so uh, yesterday in, in, in the evening I bought some Drano and a plunge and put some Drano in the sink and this morning I woke up took a shower before I took a shower it went away I, I had to use the plunge a little bit, but it went away now it's working and I, I, I knew it was God. I knew it was Jesus helping me out. Then there's a lady, a grandma, grandma of five kids that answered me back on YouTube and I was very excited, an African American lady. He, he, we had this communication and she was grateful that I make, made a comment on her uh, YouTube video and I was happy that she wrote me back. So there is a there is a Christian community out there and out here, but I'm not enjoying it. I'm not being happy. Um, could I say that I'm not being successful at my relationship with uh, Jesus? Do you become successful? Part of the prosperity gospel, maybe. I mean, I could, I'm, not that I'm all sad, but I, I, I do have a good life, okay? Made good investments, uh, God was good, He gave me everything that I needed, but she's just, He's just taking away my wife from me, and that's, that really hurts, okay? And most people say it's about time that she goes to be with the Lord and I'm taking her care of her I don't want her to to go to be with the Lord I, the doctors they said is going to be around with you for three years so in December is going to be three years I want her to be with me five more years at least but I know that's in the hands of God she, she has had a horrible diarrhea she's since yes she was doing good we were watching this movie, uh, Do Me a Favor, on Netflix with uh, Anna Kendrick and Lively, Lively, the Canadian lady. If like Lively, I, I forgot her name. And then she she got pretty bad, and she I shower her. She sits in, on on a, on a on a chair and. But I have to take care of everything. And then a lot of diarrhea all night long. I've been waking up like two or three times during the, the night. But I'm fine with that. Not a problem. It's my wife. It's my, that's my family. You know, that's what you would do for your family. And some, some people do it for other people, but usually it's work. You get paid for it. There was this lady, mother, 
Madre Teresa, Mother Teresa, she, she would do it free. Not us. You work, you want to get paid. But when, when it's your family, it's a whole different story. And I'm praying for him to not to reveal to me that he's real, that that uh, he, I know he created the universe. I just want to know if he, if he was before the creation of the universe, or he was afterwards. And I want to ask him, why is it that the universe, it's expanding every single second? Can you stop it? If you're a guy, why don't you stop it? You just stop it. This is your universe. I've been reading uh, Revelation, the book of Daniel. I'm not an expert in eschatology, but I do understand. He's talking about angels, entities. I don't know, the Antichrist. And I'm living this life. This is my life. That's the beach. Two blocks away from here. This is reality. You want to survive, you, you, you want to make some money. That's life. But he claims he's going to provide for you. Don't be anxious. I'm going to feed you. Luke 18, 27. Whatever is impossible for men, it is possible for God. And then I pray and nothing happens. And then, why do you say that? Why do you claim that if nothing is going to happen? Is that the Christian life? Well, then I prefer not to claim that I'm a Christian because it's not working. I don't know where you're at. I don't know if you understood the meaning of my message. Forgiveness. I had some people at this time trying to liquidate me. Should I forgive that people? I have people who tried to destroy my family almost 10 years ago should I forgive that people so I can't I can't not that I hate that people I don't hate that people like but I want them to pay whatever they did to my family so there, there we go again is that living the Christian life he said you, you gotta forgive how many times 70 times 7 Peter then you go, hmm, I'm not sure about that. Are you? This is Miguel Salvatore. God bless you.